We've been seeing a lot of movement within the cryptocurrency space. With all the news about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many others, there's one coin in particular that's been on my mind. And that's Dogecoin. It all started when my roommate invested in Dogecoin instead of my own cryptocurrency. And even though I failed to convince her to invest in my own crypto coin, I still feel like I need to understand what I missed. So in this video, let's investigate all the hype of Dogecoin and why the price has been going up. We will also be doing some coding to help our investigation, so make sure to stick around for that. From the day I'm filming this video, Dogecoin has gone up as high as 550%, being the 10th largest cryptocurrency in the world. With this recent massive surge, its value has gone up as high as $52 billion, which has exceeded several major banks, such as Barclays, which has a market cap of $44 billion. Several investors have made big gains on this, and social media has been flooded with memes about the coin going to the moon. So, what's really going on? Well, first let's take a look at the history of Dogecoin. Dogecoin was first created as a joke in 2013 by Jackson Palmer and Billy Marcus. The name and logo was based on the Shiba Inu dog in Doge, a popular internet meme. In the same year, millions of Doge coins were stolen in a cyber attack on the online platform Doge Wallet, which resulted in 30 million missing coins. However, this incident caused the coin to be the most mentioned coin on Twitter, which created a lot of interest among people. Dogecoin was created by forking LuckyCoin, which is forked from Litecoin. Dogecoin also has no limit to the amount of coins that can exist, unlike Bitcoin, which is limited to 21 million coins. As time went on, Dogecoin's market cap rose slowly, with a peak of $0.017 in 2018. However, there were recent events that tried to bring more attention to the cryptocurrency. One of them being a TikTok challenge that happened in 2020 asking people to buy Dogecoin, claiming that everyone could get rich if it hit one pound per coin, which resulted in the official Dogecoin Twitter account releasing a warning statement to stay safe and be smart with their actions. Another trigger was when Dogecoin caught the attention of Reddit users who were pumping GameStop and AMC stocks. This caused the coin to soar more than 800%. And well, just as I was about to convince my roommate to invest in my cryptocurrency, Elon Musk started tweeting about it. Elon Musk has been posting tweets about Dogecoin, and I'm going to put some of them up on my screen right now. I found out that the reason why my roommate invested in Dogecoin was because she saw one of Elon's tweets. So while I was doing my research for Dogecoin, I figured, why not analyze the price change of Dogecoin with Elon's tweets using Python and then displaying the top tweets with the biggest price increase. Now before I get into any further detail, I would like to add a disclaimer that this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. This video was only created for educational, informational and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and analysis. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to be using Jupyter Notebook and Python for our algorithm. Next, I'm going to create a CSV file containing Elon's tweets about Doge and the relevant dates that they were posted on. I've labeled the tweets using numbers. And once I have that, I'm going to go on Coindesk's website and download the price history data of Dogecoin. We're going to make use of the pandas library and data frames to analyze the price change after the tweets and draw a graph to compare them. In order to get our code working, I'm going to first take the high and date columns from the Dogecoin price history list and then compute the percentage change for each day. Then I will go over my tweet CSV file containing Elon's tweets with the respective dates and check what time they were posted at. If the tweets were made after 12 p.m., I will use the high price from the following day. Otherwise, I will use the high price from the same day. And then I'm going to merge the Dogecoin price list data frame with the tweets data frame on the date column. Now we get to plot the graph by setting the y-axis to show the percentage change in price for the tweets labeled on the x-axis. Okay, so looking at the tweets with the highest percentage change, the top one is tweet number eight, which is labeled. So it's finally come to this. And yeah, it looks like it's taken from a snippet from The Lion King and then edited. 
This is tweet number 8 in our CSV file which happened on February 7, 2021 and it has a price change increase of 55% for that day. And if we take a look at the Dogecoin price graph on Coindesk, we do indeed see a spike here roughly from $0.05 to $0.08. And then the next one, so it's these free tweets that were actually made on the same day, so that's interesting. And the first tweet is Doge, which happened on February 4th. And then the next one is You're Welcome. Yeah, very similar to the other tweet that I just showed you with the Lion King. And then the other one is Dogecoin is the people's crypto. So yeah, these three tweets were made on the same day on February 4th. And according to the graph, that's where we're seeing a spike. These are tweets 4, 5, and 6 in our CSV file, which happened on February 4th of 2021. The overall price percentage change for that day was roughly 49%. And we can also see the relevant spike here on Coindesk. Overall, I do find Elon Musk's tweets quite interesting around Dogecoin. I mean, he also has a tweet about SpaceX putting Dogecoin on the literal moon, although some critics say it was meant to be an April Fool's joke. Now, when it comes to my opinion about what I think about the whole situation in general, and I do have investments in cryptocurrencies, I do always ask these three questions. Number one, do I believe in the value of Dogecoin? Number two, can I use Dogecoin to buy anything today? Like, let's say, go outside and buy a cup of coffee. And number three, would I be comfortable buying Dogecoin with what it is priced at today? These are important factors that I think that come into play whenever you're deciding to invest in something due to hype or FOMO or wherever you actually think it's valuable. And who knows, maybe Dogecoin will be commonly used one day. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.